Hi, my name is Salman Gyan, one of the founders of SPL, and today I'd like to introduce the MC16 multi-channel monitoring controller to you. Uh, the MC16 is the very first 16-channel fully analog um, monitor controller. It's designed for applications up to Dolby Atmos 9.1.6 or um, Aura 3D 9.1, 11.1, 13.1. Uh, we opted for 16 channels here because 9.1.6 is the highest channel count in the production format um, currently. Uh, the MC16 features our 120 volt rail technology, the same that we do in all our mastering equipment. So it's extreme head pro headroom, um, very low distortion and noise. It's, it's the highest rail in the industry and um, the best performance you can get out of your speakers and power amplifiers, whatever. It is just perfect for mastering. The MC16 has uh, two inputs, 16 channel inputs, one and two. Obviously, one is the one that you work on and the other one can be uh, an input for comparison with other projects. Uh, every speaker has an individual on switch. So you just go there and switch them on or off. Um, you can also store certain presets. Uh, let's, well, no, let's assume here number A, I stored a preset with eight speakers. That is um, for 7.1 applications. Or you have a preset that selects all of the speakers for 9.1.6. Or you may have a preset that only selects four speakers, whatever. So that's a, a general um, speaker array preset that you can choose. Now you may also want to uh, listen to individual speakers and therefore you press the solo button and you select an individual speaker. As you can see, solo is an additive function because usually what you want to do is if you want to, let's say, listen to a, the, the stereo surrounds, let's assume there's a seven and eight, then, it's, then seven and eight is the stereo field, so you need to listen to both. You can listen to individual sides, but having an additive in the solo mode is very useful. You can then say, well, not that. I want to listen to, for example, all of the speakers that are in the ceiling. And I just prepared a preset, not this one, this one, uh, preset B. So there is another set of three presets when you activate the solo button. So meaning three solo presets and three array presets. And here now you have only the speakers in the ceiling. And up here I have a preset selected for only the front speakers. And making a preset is extremely simple. You just add speakers and press a preset button until the preset flashes and then it is stored. This is a dim and a mute switch. Well, we don't need to talk about that. That's pretty obvious. This one is our, uh, um, our bit of, yeah, uh, we're a bit pride, <laughs> proud about this because it's the first 16 gang um, volume level control or control pop potential meter, I should say, on the market. But you cannot buy it, we make it ourselves. And it took us quite some time to, uh, to get this done, to make the axis and, and get the chambers aligned and everything. But um, we opted for a real pot for um, two reasons. The first thing is that um, usually, uh, well, you probably know step ladder approaches and using relay cascades. That is kind of a good way of doing it, except for the noise level that goes with it. And in stereo, it's hardly acceptable, um, but with 16 channels, it is not acceptable at all. And it's such a disturbing noise uh, when all of these relays rattle on. It's, uh, you lose the reference. Monitoring, uh, changing monitor level is pretty much useless. So therefore, we need a pod. Everything needs to stay super silent when you change levels. Otherwise, you lose your references. And the other thing is that step ladders are uh, controlled um, using an encoder rather than a real pot. And that means an encoder you dial for like, yeah, increments. If you reach a certain speed in dialers, the increments might change. 
that's all not the way we are used to operate. That's uh, pretty random in the, in the result. So uh, a pot that behaves like a real pot and, and has expected and known level changes, that is what we put, that, that's why we opted for that and built a real 16 gang pot. So yes, uh, the DMC obviously uh, is is the perfect partner for the surround for the stereo uh, mastering to the surround monitoring of the MC16. Meaning that when you do uh, multi-channel work, 16-channel work, you do your processing in the door. Now we know that mastering places have like 90% of their work is stereo, and only a top of that is is surround and well you, but you don't want to decline your customer so you do and you just want to be able to offer it and there's going to be more surround work to be done in the future that's for sure so um, having a monitor controller that handles 16 channels is is, is perfect and that's pretty much future safe for a, for a very long time it's especially because it's also analog and there is no uh, expectance in uh, or you have no issues with sample rate changes or whatever bit depth that might change and uh, analog always delivers the highest resolution. But when you are working in multi-channel and you uh, or in stereo and you want to go to multi-channel usually what you do is you, you use the same left and right and sub speakers. But when you switch from one controller to the other controller, that would actually mean that you have to reconnect those speakers to the other controller. And that is something that you don't want to do. Um, and we were thinking about that and, and we found a solution in a way that we are linking the DMC and the MC16 in a way that the, MC, that the DMC passes on the left, right and sub channels speaker channels to the MC16. That's these are rear panel connections. Uh, and you then control the level with the pot in the multi-channel environment. And once you are done, you go back to the DMC. And how you do that is pretty simple. You only select one button on the DMC. This is speaker's A button. And it has the circle around the A indicating that specific function. Because if you hold that for two seconds, the DMC goes into standby and now hands out left, right and sub to the MC16. You do your surround work and then you press it again and the DMC resumes the last settings, takes over control about left, right and, and, and sub now with this controller, volume control and for safety reasons switches on the mute button because what may happen that you have like your volume level at maximum or whatever close to maximum which can be hurt uh, yeah uh, dangerous <laughs> in a way so this is the way dmc and mc16 perfectly team up and uh, i hope you like it i hope you get the concept and um, thanks for watching bye bye